Tonight, this man, Ian McPherson, is charged with attempted capital murder, accused of shooting two Manchester police officers. It all started on Ferry Street around 2 this morning. The first officer found him and thought he fit the description of a suspect in an armed robbery of a gas station Thursday morning. He then allegedly shot that officer and then shot the second officer near Putnam Street. The shootings forced the city to close all public schools on the west side today, and residents were ordered to shelter in place for hours. Good evening, New Hampshire. I'm Tom Griffith. And I'm Shelley Walcott. Now the good news is that both officers are expected to fully recover. Mm. We begin our live team coverage tonight at Manchester Police Department with our Jean Mackin. Jean. And the first call for help came over the radio from one of the officers shot. Even when he was wounded, when he was on the ground, he was still able to do his job and give a good description. Just past 2 a.m., the police radio lit up with the voice of Manchester police officer Ryan Hardy saying shots fired, that he needs a bus, a police term for ambulance. Send a bus for me. Send a bus for me. Shots fired. Where are you? Second and third. Been shot. Uh, white male, long hair, trench coat. Uh. Even while wounded on the ground on Ferry Street, shot in the face and upper shoulder, he was able to provide a description. He was also able, in the situation that he was in after being struck by bullets, he was able to tell dispatch that the subject was headed south on 2nd Street. That led officers to the area of Rimmon and Putnam Streets near Catholic Medical Center, where at 2.23 a.m., they say the suspect opened fire again, striking Officer Matthew O'Connor in the leg. People living on the west side of Manchester were told to shelter in place. Schools closed while law enforcement searched for their suspect. Police say 32-year-old Ian McPherson was apprehended close to 5 a.m. Investigators are not saying if a gun was found. The subject is in custody, and I, along with Chief Willard, want to ensure that the city is safe. The first officer shot, 27-year-old Ryan Hardy, was taken by police escort to a Boston hospital to be closer to his family. 28-year-old officer Matthew O'Connor was treated at the hospital and sent home to recover. And the police chief praised his officers for their actions. The courage that these officers exhibited, they are a testament to American law enforcement across the country, but the city of Manchester should be proud. And tonight, the suspect faces two counts of attempted capital murder. Each charge can carry a sentence of life in prison. Live at the Manchester Police Department tonight, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.